Well, summer's almost here, and I'm sure you've heard the phrase, well, let's go catch a few rays. And so you want to get out in the sun and enjoy a little bit of sun on your face, and you know it'll give you some vitamin D and all that good stuff. And so you, you think, well, I'm going to enjoy the sun. Well, too much sun exposure can lead to problems like skin cancer. Doctors recommend wearing sunscreen as protection. But as Laurie Johnson reports, they are a new concern with some of the products that are supposed to protect your skin. Our skin can pay a hefty price for summer fun in the sun. Just one blistering sunburn in your younger years can increase the risk for deadly melanoma. The UV exposure and ultraviolet exposure from the sun's rays is really the number one most preventable and avoidable cause of not only skin cancer, but also signs of aging. So things like fine lines, wrinkles, brown spots, loss of elasticity. Dermatologist Whitney Bowe says all of us should use sunscreen, but points out the FDA is now questioning chemical sunscreens with ingredients like oxybenzone and avobenzone. They're actually calling for sunscreen manufacturers to really take a closer look at the safety of some of those ingredients. Recent studies show some sunscreen chemicals can be absorbed into the bloodstream. That's why the FDA states these products need to undergo further testing to help determine if they increase the risk for cancer, birth defects, or other adverse effects. And while those chemical sunscreens warrant further study, the FDA says mineral sunscreens are generally recognized as safe and effective. However, there are drawbacks to those as well. So mineral or physical blockers basically act like a shield. They sit on the skin and they reflect or scatter UV rays. Those are the ones that they contain zinc oxide, titanium dioxide. They can be a little bit difficult to rub in. They can sometimes leave you looking a little bit like a ghost, right? Too often, sunscreens don't offer the protection they claim, and consumers don't apply them properly. So a lot of people are asking me, like, how do I limit the amount of sunscreen that I'm using during the summer? And that's when I tell people you got to think outside the sunscreen box. People who are concerned about slathering sunscreen from head to toe all day long, which is what doctors recommend, can find peace of mind by covering up with things like a wide-brimmed hat and new protective clothing, like this swim shirt that blocks 98% of the sun's harmful rays. If you do happen to get too much sun that leads to a burn, Dr. Bo says new CBD products can bring relief. So cannabis, the cannabis plant, has two main compounds that people are familiar with. There's THC, which gets you high, and CBD, which doesn't. But CBD can actually help to dial down inflammation. It speeds up wound healing, and it also has analgesic properties, so it helps with pain. As for that aging look that comes with too much sun, Dr. Bo explains how to potentially replace collagen in our skin that the sun breaks down. They're basically ropes of protein that keep the skin firm and tight and smooth. And there's this very hot new trend of adding a scoop or two of collagen powder into your coffee, into your smoothie, into your oatmeal showing that if you ingest collagen every single day, it can boost elasticity, hydration in the skin, and even fight wrinkles. Finally, if you choose a sports drink this summer, make sure it's organic and no more than two grams of sugar. But most sports drinks are loaded with sugar, and sugar causes something called glycation. The sugar molecules bind to the collagen and targets it for destruction. So it's a great way to accelerate the aging process. Dr. Bo recommends keeping our sugar consumption under 30 grams a day. Oh, what an interesting lady. Laurie's with us now. Hey, Laurie, uh, have you got any reaction from the program we did about uh, that mud you put on you? <laughs> the your mud. Yeah. It's, it's the bacteria right. that is found right. in dirt. Right. It's called mother dirt. Mother dirt. And everybody's loving it because it makes perfect sense. The bacteria that's in the dirt we're no longer yeah. getting on our skin because who's out in the dirt anymore? We did a big program about it. I mean, have you seen a lot of people that said that 
They, we had a, they were spraying those the bacteria with that spray. That's right, and you spray the actual live bacteria on your body. It's called Mother Dirt, right. and it eats up your sweat. <laughs> and the byproducts are very, very good for you because it helps to fight the bad bacteria, and it helps prevent against things like acne, rosacea, eczema, psoriasis, wow. premature aging, and sensitive skin. And then again, we've got to remember not to kill the good bacteria on our skin with those awful antibacterial soaps. Just regular soap is good. Now, don't go to the extreme and, and not bathe. Yeah. We want to be clean. We don't want to be sterile. Yeah, That's you. the difference. Well, now, we're talking about sunscreen. Uh, Again, that woman was talking about the the product of uh, marijuana that was good. Right. Well, 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 what are you supposed to do? What's wrong with the, with the sunscreens that we've got? What are the bad? Well, they're not really sure that anything is wrong, but there's a huge question mark. They found out that the chemical sunscreens, which contain chemicals like oxybenzone, actually sink deep deep down into our skin, into our bloodstream. Mm. And so now the FDA says, hmm, this is a problem. We didn't think that they went that deep. Sunscreen manufacturers, I'm going to give you till November to prove that these ingredients are safe. So we don't know whether they're safe or not. Right. But in the meantime, a lot of people are like, you know what, I think I might stick away, stay away from the chemical sunscreens and instead go towards the mineral sunscreens. Okay. The mineral sunscreens don't have those chemicals in them, but they don't absorb very well. The active ingredient in mineral sunscreen is zinc oxide, and a lot of times it just sits on your skin and makes you look really white. And so the problem with that is people tend to not use as much as they need, and they end up getting burned. The amount that you need is the amount in a shot glass. That's now, I realize a lot of our good Christian viewers have no <laughs> idea what a shot glass is. Right. It is one ounce. Right. That's a lot. That's a lot. Let me ask you, I know this isn't exactly what you're talking about, but I have felt that the ozone layer that protects us from the sun has been somehow compromised because, you know, I would never had any problem that I'd wear a, a, a T-shirt that has some, thing, you know, some porous nature and... Mm -hmm. And I'd wind up with all kinds of little bumps and irritation. That's very interesting that you mention that because actually T-shirts, white T-shirts, really don't offer that much sun protection because they're very loosely knit. Right. That's why this type of thing that I mentioned in the story is so wonderful. This type of fabric is called UPF, and it has a sun protection factor of 50 or more. Now, this is for adults, but Dr. Bo actually developed this for her daughter in mind, and we have a picture of sweet little McLean. There she is, and look at her red hair and her fair skin and the reason this is so perfect for children is because kids like McLean go to summer camp and mama's not there to put the sunscreen on every two hours which is what you need so if the kids are wearing these wonderful shirts they're protected against the sun and they don't have to put the sunscreen there. the ocean a lot of people want to go swimming in the ocean uh, uh, does the water wash off the typical sunscreen? It really does. A lot of these sunscreen, especially the non-chemical ones, right. the mineral ones, actually do wash off. So you need to reapply after you get wet, and you need to reapply every two hours, even if you don't get wet. So that's, again, why these sun protective clothing and the hats and the umbrellas are all really important, because a lot of people are finding that sunscreens aren't really doing the job. How much sun is warranted? I mean, you know, if you, especially with fair skin, you, with your, your skin, you shouldn't go out there at all. Right. As a matter of fact, you and I were, we, you and I were telling our dirty little secrets. Yeah. Um, you said that you used to go to a sun lamp. I and didn't go to it. I had one in my room. And I, 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 I plugged it in. I said, I, I sat in my lap when I was in law school. And, I and then I shamed you, and then I had to admit my <laughs> dirty little secret, which is I used to go to suntan booths, which uh, increase your risk for melanoma skin cancer by 75%. And guess what? You got it. I got it. And uh, the way I realized, and, and this may have saved my life, the fact that I knew the A, B, C, D, E's 
of melanoma. So if you have a mole, look at your moles on your body, yeah. and if any of them fit these criteria, go see a doctor. You might have melanoma skin cancer. Asymmetry, which means it doesn't look the same on both halves. Border are, borders are uneven. They're kind of ragged around the edge. The color, there's more than one color in the mole. Diameter, bigger than the, um, than the pencil eraser, which is about a quarter of an inch, and evolving. This is the one that fit my situation was it changes. And I had a mole on my back, and I noticed it was getting bigger. So I went to the doctor, and sure enough, it was melanoma. They, they and just cut it off? The... He, he cut it out, and um, he was glad that I came in when I did because... Like all cancers, they grow, and with skin cancer, it grows deeper down into your body. Mm -hmm. And if it gets into the, that lymphatic system, it can go anywhere in your whole body and start growing somewhere else, like your brain or your abdomen. So, folks, if you see uh, a mole that looks suspicious, go see the doctor. Well, get yours it came from. because you use one of those artificial sun beds, <laughs> More tanning than once. beds. I used to go all the time. All the time. But also, as you know, I'm very fair, and when I was a child, I got sunburn. If you get one sunburn in childhood or teenage years, yeah. your chance of getting melanoma skin cancer increases by 50%. And when I was a teenager, we would go out there, my girlfriends and I, we would put the baby oil on. We would just burn. Because what would happen is, a lot of women can probably relate to this, after you burn, then it peels, and you've got a nice tan underneath. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's, we were so dumb. But, but the, the tan was considered good-looking, and, you know, yeah. it, it, but it's not worth it. Uh, I, I look good. Yeah, I look sure. really good. <laughs> now I'm paying the price. All right. <laughs> well, Ryan, just to wrap up, have you got something to show people? Oh, thank you for mentioning this. All this right. is another great thing. Thank you. I was getting dis distracted. Uh, this is an, actually a supplement that helps prevent against skin cancer. It's called HelioCare Advanced. The active ingredient is called nicotinamide, which is a vitamin B3 derivative. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have the side effects of just taking vitamin D, which some people have problems with. This has actually been shown to reduce the risk of skin cancer by 35 percent it was the results were actually published in the new england journal of medicine so this mm. is not some random beauty product this stuff really works yeah. i take it every day you do mm -hmm. can we get a camera a little closer on because that server? i am at high risk as you know i had right. skin cancer melanoma there it is. um it is so i'm at high risk of it coming back helio helio care advanced helio care advanced okay well you heard it here stay safe enjoy summer and stay out of the sun. Wendy, God, thank you. God bless you, too. Yeah. Have a happy summer. I'll do my best. Wendy, what's next?